Hello folks, welcome to the Spanky Guitar YouTube channel. I'm in some very, very slow traffic here, so uh, I figured, well, let's start the uh, the next episode. It's on my way back from uh, getting an, another Epiphone guitar, and um, so I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to get this episode on the on the roll here. So this one is a, a bit older. I actually, I don't even know what year this one is, but it's a Tobacco Burst Epiphone made in Korea. Um, I just had a quick look at it. The fretboard looks great. No, uh, no dirt or grime or anything like that. There's a couple of scratches on the body. I wanted to so, talk about um, the pricing of uh, Epiphones and used uh, on the used market. So if you're familiar with that, you can go ahead and fast forward to uh, to actual uh, demo of the guitar. But um, I'm only going to spend a few minutes with uh, what I think is fair. On the used market for Epiphone Les Paul standards, um, I bought a I bought a couple in the you know fairly recent, and I keep an eye out on the uh, my local buy and sell uh, market, and um, usually they'll be anywhere from three four hundred all the way up to seven hundred or uh, even eight hundred, but I think that uh, that's a little too high as the seven eight hundred. I think a fair price is a uh, is around the 500 mark for used uh, standard Gibson Les, uh, Les Paul uh, Epiphones and um, so yeah if you can get one for uh, th 300 or 400 I consider those uh, pretty good deals uh, depending on the uh, depending on the condition and uh, so this one I just recent I just paid uh, 320 dollars for this Korean made Epiphone uh, and this one has the Gibson truss rod cover um, I'm, I'm sort of particular with uh, with the models that I want to that I'm sort of collecting I, I'm not really a, a, a huge collector I just get a few guitars here and there um, first of all I don't have the funds to be able to have a huge collection or anything like that but I do you know keep my eye out for uh, some guitars um, that I'm particular about and this one is uh, Almost completing my collection of what I of what I of what I want to uh, get, and uh, I'm very happy with what I have already. And uh, but so anything from here on in is is just a bonus and and icing on the cake. So um, yes, I'll get the uh, guitar all set up here shortly. So just uh, we're back at the uh, studio here and this here is the Epiphone. Check out the flame on this thing. I couldn't believe it when I saw saw the posting in my in the local ad. Um, it needs to be cleaned up, that's why I have it on the bench here, but take a look at the uh, the fingerboard, the frets. Fingerboard, there's, it's already clean, There's doesn't even need conditioning. I, I'm not sure if I'll add some done. And uh, yeah, so there's that. So here's the headstock, Gibson truss rod cover. So this is an 03 model, 2003. And um, the only thing that was changed on it, I believe the fella said, um, were these knobs. Originally, it would have had uh, these type of gold, gold um, bell knobs, gold bell knobs. So I, I don't know if I'll change that out or not. I just happened to have some extra ones here. These ones are made for Gibson, but um, who knows? Maybe I'll just leave these these speed knobs on. It does look nice with that already on. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up. I'm gonna change the strings. I got some new strings. I just uh, yesterday I ended up just taking out this uh, Gibson pickup. It's in a Seymour box, but this is a Gibson 490T bridge, and I'm contemplating putting putting it in this guy here because it has the Gibson truss truss rod cover. So Maybe we should put uh, upgrade it with some actual Gibson uh, Gibson pickups. So just give me a few moments. Um, it's going to take me about an hour or so uh, to get everything ready. Uh, before that, uh, I'll take the while I'm taking the pickups out. We'll have a, a quick look at the reading of uh, the resistance of these of these pickups. This may be. The best flamed guitar, even though it's a veneer, this may be the best flamed guitar top that I have in my current collection. And I do have some nice flame tops already. 
absolutely amazing Ooh okay so we're back with the epiphone and um i'm very ecstatic to uh to be able to tell you guys that this made in korea guitar is not a veneer it this is a real flame top could you imagine that so that further confirms my theory that the uh the koreans the korean made guitars really do go over and beyond um the, uh quality built guitars and the way you could tell that is um if you look up here usually you could see a sliver a thin slice of the veneer but there there's there's nothing it's just uh it's just the poly and a bit of uh yeah just the poly over it and a bit of the a little bit overspray from the uh from the bursting um also you can also tell by if you uh, i'm holding a flashlight here so you guys can see better but um with my finger here on this side you can see the flames they go all the way down um the width of the the maple cap so that further uh is confirmation that this thing is a full full cap and um you could see it's you could see the uh like the dye or the paint kind of dro dropped a little bit but that's like that's not the veneer part that's just the paint paint and poly and further take a look at the uh the neck look how wide that is that's a full inch and a half neck wide from the bottom to the top here and they also polyed everything inside usually um the guitar manufacturers just just leave the leave the insides just uh open green with no no coating sometimes it is coated but these guys polyed inside and i i um i plugged it in just to ensure that the uh the all of the electronics work worked before i started any work on it and um as soon as i hit one note that thing that note it sustained for forever and um so that's that reminds me of my uh my 2006 korean made black beauty that i owned last year and i did a sustain test with that guitar epiphone and uh and i put it against one of my uh gibsons it was a gibson les paul studio and that korean made st sustained longer and i guarantee you this one also is gonna out out sustained uh some of my gibsons i'm gonna put that put put them to the test in further episodes so if you guys are um, interested in that i suggest you subscribe like the video um so i was just very surprised to uh to be able to uh to see this and to let you guys know that hey wow the korean made are really doing something fantastic well this was back in you know going back 15 years ago now this is a 2003 made in uh Sayin, I think it's pronounced Sayin, uh, Korea. And um, so yeah, let's take us, let's take some uh, pickup readings here. Okay, so there we have it, folks. Uh, from the time of getting it home until now, I think it's actually three hours later. I thought it'd only be an hour, but um, took quite a while uh, polishing it up, waxing it. Um, it still has, you know, a little bit, little bit of scuff marks here and there, but, uh, that's because, you know, it's a fairly, it's been played here and there in, um, 2003 model. And, um, so yeah, very happy with it. Nice and clean. We're going to get it, uh, hooked up to the amp here shortly. Um, Epiphone Les Paul Gibson. Oh yeah. Um. Nice rosewood. I've polished the frets. Nice fretboard. Nice fretwork. Everything's clean and shiny and good to go. Awesome flame. Um, so I ended up changing the uh, the speed knobs. Here's the speed knobs. One of them, the last person, they had glued it inside. Maybe these were a little bigger and they put glue so it, it was kind of hard to uh get them off but one of them fell off on their on its own because of it i don't know maybe it was old or it got banged around or something but um 
But yeah, like I said, luckily I had some uh, some extra Gibson uh, knobs, control knobs, that are typically on standards. Uh, Gibson standards, and well, all Gibson lineup, but... Um, so yeah, let's plug this thing in. And see what it can do, folks. Okay, so I got the multimeter meter set up here. Um, so the neck, it says HB6N, open in brackets, LP, CLS, neck. Um, so the guy got this off of, he said uh, he said it was a standard, but with this saying CLS, I'm wondering if it maybe it was a classic, because also these things are uncovered pickups. So um, it's I'm not entirely sure, because the truss rod cover says Gibson on it. Um, so let's take a, a reading here for the neck pickup. So the neck is 8.55, the bridge, it's pretty hot, 13.72, good, 0 0.70. Like I said, these pickups, I, uh, when I plug them in briefly, these are absolutely amazing, I, I, just, I can't believe it. So in the middle it's just 5.24. So as you can see, I got the fretboard taped up. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to polish the frets and uh, maybe give it a, a slight uh, conditioning. Um, even though it's it's pretty good already, just just as is. But um, for those of you that have haven't seen any of my previous videos, I always um, doesn't matter if the guitar is new or old. I always polish the frets regardless and change the strings as soon as I get a new or used guitar because uh, you know just for general uh, general cleanliness um, changing the strings you know is just a good idea no matter no matter what um, and polishing the frets I bought an Epiphone 59 a couple of weeks ago um, and the frets on that one, even though it was brand new, 2021, they were a bit uh, scratchy. And uh, by scratchy, I mean the, the, the strings, there was a bit of like sort of resistance when you wanted to slide the strings up and down or, or side to side, whatever. And um, so in order to eliminate that, you have to polish these things with uh, either a fret eraser or um, finely, fine gauged steel wool i i would use the uh the fret eraser from a place like maybe stumac or something like that but um i've just been using the steel wool for now so i'm just going to sign off for now and uh i'll sign back in shortly okay so we're all set here folks with the uh, epiphone tobacco burst i think this uh, i'm gonna go and Go ahead and say that this is a Les Paul Classic rather than a standard um, because of the black back. Now this could very well be a standard. I'm going to have to do a little. I'm just too excited to get all of this uh, this footage up and starting to play this thing. Um, but once I do look in the Epiphone catalog, I'll be able to uh, tell if this is a uh, an actual standard or classic. Doesn't matter to me. It's, uh, it's a beautiful guitar awesome flame top um you know what more can you ask for for 320 dollars canadian uh, and um so right now i'm just mic'd up to uh, i'm just going to use the small amp for now it's getting late here um it's after 10 o'clock at p.m and so i'm just going to use the small boss katana mic'd up to a uh, sure sm57 and just off to the side is an audio technica at2020 condenser mic um so yeah here we go we're going to start off on the uh, the neck pickup on a clean sound.
we'll try the middle. And here's the bridge. back up to the neck and we'll do a dirty channel add some crunch And that's that folks hope you enjoyed the video um, please subscribe like the video and um, so yeah stay tuned for more upcoming exciting videos regarding uh, pedal sounds Gibson Les Paul sounds more Epiphone Les Paul sounds I'm gonna have a bunch of uh, shootouts with all of the uh, Gibson versus Epiphones Epiphones versus Epiphones Gibson versus Gibson and all of the pedals included so um
if you uh, if that sounds interesting and if you uh, may be interested in purchasing um, an Epiphone or a Les Paul or maybe some of the pedals and you would like to uh, curious about how they sound this is the perfect place to be folks so um, just like to say thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned